There's a village in England that Liam Gallagher calls home. Like everyone else there who ISNT a one-time lead singer for Oasis and or recipient of Q Magazine's benediction as the greatest rock band frontman of all time, he occasionally putters around town on errands, now and then bumping into one particular neighbor with whom he has a lot in common. Like Gallagher, Ray Davies is a massive figure in pop music history. They draw from a similar stream, each conjuring the sound of mid-1960s English rock and roll, though only Davies was actually there at the time. Each has a brother with whom he has famously feuded, Noel Gallagher and Dave Davies, respectively, to the point of brawling on stage as fans watched in horror and delight, well say hi, Gallagher recounts. Ray will say, are you speaking with your brother yet he'll go, no. Are you speaking to yours he'll say, no. Then he'll say see you later. That's all we really say to each other. During the height of Oasis fame, the family drama between Noel Gallagher, center, and younger brother Liam, second right, often took center stage, photoed Jill Fromofsky, Epic records nothing more needs to be said, especially now that Gallagher, 45, has stepped out with his debut solo album, As You Were, out now. The Lennon-esque genus and wall of glass, the guitar chords and rhythms in bold that recall across the universe, the tambourine beat and waltz time of You've Got to Hide Your Love Away resurrected for When I'm in Need, even the title of the track You Better Run and the lyric that quotes happiness is a warm gun, all of these elements a debt to the Beatles that Gallagher freely acknowledges. Looking back at the antics of his younger days, Gallagher says, I was drinking too much, photo Babetto Matthews, Associated Presses, you are also confirms that he's back at full strength after a long hiatus. A lot of personal stuff was going on, he says. I was drinking too much. Then I thought, you know what I'm gonna go live in Spain, get me head together and get some sun on me bones, somehow, that didnt happen. But he did pick up his guitar and, to his surprise, out came a new song, Bold. Obviously I didnt write it in a day, I wrote it in half a day, he remembers. Others followed quickly. I didnt go, I just write a song because, I'm not famous anymore and I must get back to the top of the charts, he explains. There's none of that nonsense. I don't need to get any more famous. God, no. I didnt miss it terribly. I just wanted the universe to plow me some songs, which it did. If you're good to rock and roll, it'll be good to you. And I've been good to rock and roll, his voice showed no rust, either. I should have taken better care of it, he admits. But I'm a snarly rock and roll singer. You don't want to start watering it down because you will end up sounding like Noel Gallagher. And we don't want that, maybe not. But neither does Liam feel apologetic for sinking his sound even deeper into the bedrock of the 1960s with As You Were. Yeah, maybe I wish I'd been around back then, he concedes. These days there's a lot of genres, which I guess is a good thing but it can also get in the way. I.D. have liked the times when it was just the Stones, the Kinks, the Who, the Small Faces, the Beatles and all that stuff. I reckon they were more. My people, but, he adds, I was in this little band called Oasis, so I can't complain. And I do believe Paul McCartney owes me a few quid for keeping that old flame burning. Read or share this story http sussit.ly2ksbqx3